Hello, it might look a little bit different than what you're used to seeing, but you gotta go watch our house tour video and find out what's going on and why we're not in our old place. Yeah, it might, it might look a little bit different. You don't see the kitchen and living room behind us because we're actually in the living room now. Actually, the entire time we lived at the other place, that was actually a green screen behind us. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be reviewing some very interesting type of scooter edits. We're gonna be reviewing edits that aren't necessarily the most scooter friendly edits that you could watch and what I mean by that is it's a lot of edits about people talking crap and you know what's better than some pro scooter riders reacting to some hate yeah we're gonna watch a few videos a lot of them are pretty goofy but they should be pretty interesting to watch let's do it so this first video that we're watching is called Scooters Suck Dash a short film it is a very short film because it is a minute and 46 seconds so um, we're gonna watch a short film about why scooters suck. All right, let's do this. All right, so there's a man walking through a field. Ooh, he said tweak. That was a solid tweak. Dude, he almost has waffles down. Okay, this is definitely from England. Oh yeah. You can tell by how pale he is. <laughs> Not by his accent, but how pale he is. And just like the color of it. It does, scootering does get me through the hard times. Yep. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow, what a legend. That was the craziest limbo I've ever seen in my life. Dude, it's like he didn't even try. So like, where's the scootering in this? We've seen one one waffle, and that's it. Oh, I get it. He's pretending like he's too scared to go onto the slide because he scooters, and scooter riders are scared to go down stuff. I get it now. He's so creative. He's a genius. And now he's stuck. Oh, he's stuck because scooter riders are stupid and they get stuck in playground equipment. Hey, point proven right there. Yeah, so like, it actually makes a lot of sense now. Dude, look, no hands. Look Watch, he's just gonna hit the side of the fence. Oh, I'm surprised. You know, actually that shoulder, that shoulder thing was pretty good. That was pretty sick. Is that the new way of carrying things? And then carrying it like this is, is that it? Oh, that was lame. So that was the entire video. Yeah, so as you can see right now, people cover up their insecurities with other people's insecurities, AKA they cover up their insecurities with um, scooters. Which is one reason why the scooter community is so awesome because once you get into the scooter community and you act actually meet the people in it, you'll realize that no one actually does it to be cool. Once you realize that you're in a community where no one is trying to be like super cool, you meet the most genuine people. So like there won't be any people like this kid in there. Very true. And that wasn't even like a roast. No, that was just like the worst video I've ever seen. That's just like a kid that doesn't know how to make videos. Make but it's videos. trying to be funny. Yeah. Next video. So this one is by our favorite scooter rider in the whole world. I was actually blessed enough to meet him. He claims to be a skateboarder, but he's actually a scooter rider. He, he films majority scooter videos. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch a, a beautiful film by the one and only Black Ninja. This video is called Ban All Scooters. Scooter, injures skater, and runs away. Let's have a good analysis of this video. Oh, let's do it. So far, we have a pretty crappy intro where he does a front flip on a skateboard. He's never front flipped a skateboard, but this guy has. I have. This guy's so ugly. Dude, you totally saw that kid. Like, not 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 the second guy, but the first one. Like, you bailed into that kid. Oh yeah. Like, dude, if I was that kid, I'd be like, Sorry. I'd be like, well, what is this guy's problem? Oh my bad. Sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think it's the fact that just skate. See, that was tight. That was cooler than the trick we just watched on the skateboard. See, sk skateboards just get butt hurt, and they don't go out of the way to teach kids park etiquette. So that's what you gotta do. Someone's snaking, go help them. 
skateboarders trying to gain speed. All right, let me just say something really quick. Hold on, wait till the end of the video. Nah, dude. He keeps saying skate parks are playgrounds. They literally are playgrounds. They're made by the city for youth to go to to have fun. It's it's literally a public park. It's a playground. And also, he doesn't bring up the little skateboard kids that get in everyone's way. Or the biker yeah, kids. And now we know that even the parents are pussies. Parent watches their child dad near kill a kid who's only trying to better his skills. And then they fucking sneak out. Because why? I don't know. I can't think like a scooter rider. I can't think like a pussy. The question... I like how he cut it in between like that thing. Like he said what he needed to say, and then he was like, "Hold up, I gotta say something more." Oh, scooters are pussies. All right, all right. All right now I gotta. And their parents. And their parents. Sorry, mom. How many scooter riders have just blindly just scooted into the way of a skateboarder? Me. It's happened to me several times. It's happened to me on film. If that's any indication of how common this is. We really just need to start banning scooters. And uh -huh. I was thinking a really funny idea. Speaking of banning, really isn't he banned from Woodward? He is banned from Woodward. Mm, why is that? It's because um, I told the counselor or the head person at Woodward that uh, he was endangering scooter kids at camp and uh, he got kicked out. So He literally was going up to kids and like convincing them to hurt themselves and then like filming it and getting in their face and laughing at them. Like, so basically, he was just... He would just, okay, this is what this guy would do. He would literally camp out at a spot, get all these scooter kids hyped up to try a trick and film them, film their fails so he can make videos like this and twist it all up so that way he can make a check so that way he can buy more steroids for his workout career. Dude, he's been ranting a lot. Uh-huh. The skate park has a skate park. Not a playground. I just don't understand it anymore, and it's really sad. I don't understand it either, bro. You're you're getting really upset. He's also been doing this for years, so he's just okay. So so imagine being this guy. How old do you think this guy is? Like probably like 35. Probably like I, I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him 30. He, he looks like a 30 year old. He is literally trying to trigger 12 year olds that like are defenseless. So. The parents, if you're watching this with your ch children right now, there is predators out there like this man who are who are making money off of your children's unhappiness. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's true. So is he gonna like play a video or is he just gonna complain the whole time? Yeah, they do. Yes, they. What happened to your shin? Hey, no, it doesn't happen, man. He oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Uh huh. We're doing nothing. Is that why our economy in the scooter world is much stronger than the economy in the skateboard world? Is because we're doing nothing. I think that is. I think that is. I think that is the reason. Oh, uh, and for people that don't know, uh, me and a kid collided at a skate park, and he broke my tib and fib in my leg, which is your shin bone. So the only problem I have with people like Ninja is they are so self-centered in the skateboard community. Everyone always complains about the scooter kids, but like the skateboard kids, the little rollerblade kids, the little kids on bikes, the little kids on like, oh, what's like those, but they don't have pedals, you just push. Yeah. One of those. The kid and bikes. those kids go everywhere. But scooters are the big problem. But it's because we're uh, taking over skateboards. I like That's how in his, in his profile, like his little like animated graphic, it says sorry on his hat. And I know that's from when the kid said sorry. Like when that little kid apologized to him for getting in his way. That was like, like that's the funniest quote ever. I'm that's like that hat. that's like the most revolutionary thing that's ever happened to him. Is is a kid apologized to him? Well, like, I think his most most viewed videos are scooter videos. I don't think they're even skate videos. Oh no way. Yep, a lot of them are scooter videos. Enough with Black Ninja. He's old news. He's dead. And irrelevant. He's broke. Let's move on to a new video called People in San Francisco are pissed over these electric scooters. <clears throat> so we're gonna watch this and this is brought to you by Vice. Oh, this is gonna be nice. San Francisco is dealing with a scourge of electric scooters. 
that bunny hop there. The sudden surge of all those scooters. The San Francisco MTA impounded dozens of scooters. <laughs> they impounded them? They zip around on the sidewalk and sometimes get dumped right in the middle of it. Oh, no. They're calling it an invasion. <laughs> invasion. Dude, he's got AirPods on. They're just jealous. No hearings and received no permission from city officials before they dumped their products on the street. Unsurprisingly, people hate them. People hate them. Obviously, they don't belong in side but that's where they are. I hate San Francisco, man. That's like the worst city. They shouldn't be going on the sidewalks, and they should be gone so fast. Dude, those things do haul. They they do go quick. I don't know if you guys have ever been on them. Like they 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 book. Travis Travis was the CEO of Lyft and then a VP at Uber, a company known for pissing off city officials in the interest of unregulated rideshare. Bird is based in LA True. and full disclosure, the company sublets office space from Vice. Anything new tends to feel disruptive. It can sometimes be controversial. I think these scooters are tight. Like I think that like it's it's. Well, transportation the being evolved the yeah and it can kind of get you into places where where you can walk but you can get there faster so it's just, and it's easy anyone can hop on it and go well most people and our goal here in San Francisco is to come to a permit system as soon as we can can you understand how the phrase innovating on the regulatory side could do regulators be seen as just breaking the law I mean, that's one, I mean, See, this guy that's interviewing this dude sucks. Why? Why does he suck? He, this guy sucks because he's just like... He just doesn't want any change to happen. And, I, and change is the most... is something you can't change. And I feel like at some point or another, there's gonna be something on the sidewalks that are more efficient than walking. And that's what's happening. And that guy doesn't like it. Well, also like the sidewalks for walking. So I can see where they're getting angry at people riding on the on the sidewalks. Riding it, like I feel like riding it in the street is fine, but then it's kind of getting in the way of cars. Or if they just ride it in the bike lane, then that's fine. But I, I definitely see why they're getting mad about it being on the sidewalks. People get domed. Bird scooters have traveled more than 140,000 miles in 30 days. And they do have a contract. 130 miles. 140 miles? Once you get on there, look at that steez. Like wind in your hair. It's pretty fun. Could we potentially see you at like, the next city council meeting standing up for Bird and saying, no, 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 these things belong in our city? Absolutely. Like all the chads and the brads of the road will be uh, the Chandra Maxes. I did uh, send in the email saying, you know, keep Bird in San Francisco, try to do my part uh, electronically. I've had a lady kind of scream at me saying this is uh, ruining San Francisco. Yeah, I usually no, just what ruined San Francisco was all the homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> Not some electric scooters. No. Say, get off my streets. I think that the I think the fact that the government is paying for buildings for people to illegally do heroin inside of is worse than uh, an electric scooter. An electric scooter. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like we're seeing homeless people in this video. And no, no offense towards homeless people. If you're homeless and watching this, no offense. I'm just saying there's bigger problems than these electric scooters. But since they're scooters, oh my gosh. The epitome of everything. Yes. Yep. And what's the best way to work with cities to actually pilot that and see if it works and then figure out how to make sure it's successful when we enter a market. They literally film this and like put them one square block and <laughs> all the B-roll. Yeah, that's kind of all they need. Alright. So, electric scooters. Comment down below. Is there electric scooters in your city? Um, there's... I don't know if there's I don't think there's any in Phoenix anymore. Yeah, there is. Oh, they banned them at I ASU. Drove, uh, I drove by some sitting on the road yesterday. They got banned from ASU okay. because people were getting too many DUIs on them. <laughs> getting a DUI on an electric scooter would be the lamest, like, the lamest thing. Get pulled over and arrested. Uh, okay, if you guys live within the United States, 
and you guys are riding your scooter, and by whatever cause, I don't know, I'm not your parents, but basically, like, if you are under the influence of something, you still can get a DUI from riding your scooter if you're under the influence. So even, so so don't even ride your scooter when, when you're messed up, because, uh... Exactly, if you've been drinking or anything, just... Because... Even walking you can get in trouble. Dude, welcome to America. Welcome to America. All right, so this last video is called uh, Extreme Scooter Stunts. I think this is the longest video. For and uh, it's 36 seconds long. It has three dislikes, zero likes. And uh, let's 584 see. 584 views. Let's see uh, Extreme Scooter Stunts. This video was, was uploaded in 2008, Joe which sucks. was 11 years ago. Wait, what does the description say? Joe sucks the big ones at jumping on his scooter. <laughs> All right, Sick. here we go. Oh, it's gonna get some air. oh man, you got like three feet. <laughs> the Napoleon Dynamite reference. Alright, he's going. He got. Did he even okay. go over it? I don't think he even went over it. Oh, oh, oh. Land on it. Land on it. Oh. He missed it. I feel like I remember doing exactly what this kid is doing. What? Okay. Is that it? And there is zero comments. <laughs> There's one now and it says sick. Bam. Well, so, folks. Oh, wait, hold on. We have the first comment and the first like. Okay. What up? This video has been liked. So it has one like and three dislikes. All right. Everyone, thank you for watching. Will's gotta go to the airport. I'm staying home. And then we're going to the Lake Havasu contest. So if you guys are gonna go to the Lake Havasu ISA, we'll be there. We'll have the tent, we'll have merch, stickers, we'll have everything. So come through, say what's up, come buy some stuff. You guys are gonna be there. It's gonna be a great time. We're gonna have some good memories to look back on after this comp. So make yep. sure you guys are out there because it's gonna be one hell of a weekend. It's gonna be sick. And when we get back, we're gonna start podcasts. So if you guys wanna see some podcasts, comment below who you want us to interview. And we will interview them. Yep. But no phone interviews, we want them in the flesh. Oh yeah, they gotta be sitting right there. We're like, what up dog? So what's going on? And they're like, oh man, you know, I don't know where I'm going with that, but. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.